Hi everyone, here I am with my cards and this reading is for Capricorn from the 20th to the 30th. I know there's only 10 days left in the month. I'm sorry I'm late getting these up, but I'm committed to getting the rest of the signs up. I want to say Happy Easter to everyone too. And before I proceed with the reading, I would like to talk about the GoFundMe that I have advertised down here below the video. Um, this camera has a big scratch in it. I have a really small memory card, so it's really time consuming for me to make videos because I have to make them in little clips, then put them through the movie maker. Hey, who's this? We gotta stop everything because the baby is here. So there, you see the scratch when I I'm up against him. So that's why my videos are so blurry and it takes me a really long time. Capricorn, I love it that my cat is putting all his energy on your cards. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, so anyways, I lost my track, but that's okay because nothing is as important as you, is it? So I also, so the GoFundMe is also in a few weeks and throughout the summer, I have three different live events to do that are outside, doing readings at fairs and doing healings, and I need some equipment like a proper tent, proper advertisement like a banner and, and just flyers to give out and things like that. So I have a GoFundMe. Please share it. Even if you can't donate, please share it. And please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Um, my channel has been severely restricted. I have no idea why, but it really helps if you just even hit the like button um, and leave a comment. And I'm open to anybody that if you, you want a reading on something that like is universal for people, also with a $10 donation to my GoFundMe, I will do a tarot reading for you and send it to you via video in private. So, and with a $30 donation, you get uh, uh, into a draw for one of my big, big longer readings that I do in a trance channel session. Oh, sorry that took me so long to get out, but we got some good cat energy. So Capricorn, the 20th to the 30th of April. So today we're right coming down off the energy of the full moon, but we're still in that energy. So don't forget to use that and pay attention to what needs to be harmonized and balanced in your life. And you can really tap into the energies of the full moon. I wish more people would do it. Um, so I have the cards already laid out because of the fact that my camera, like the memory card, is so short that I have to lay everything out beforehand so that it's not too many clips to make. And I have one surprise card here. So this is a really interesting reading because your reading begins with this and ends with this, but all the cards in between are so dynamic. So I'll take one at a time, and it seems like to me right now, right at this current moment that my Capricorns who are watching, you're experiencing some heartache. And I asked for some clarity on what this heartbreak is all about. And somebody was dishonest and it could be you, okay? This, for some of you that I'm reading for, it was you that did the dishonest deed, okay? And got caught or you're feeling guilty. And for other Capricorns, it's another person that did it. And I'm hearing it's not necessarily a lover. Someone betrayed you. And I feel for some people it was a sister. Uh, it was it, it, it was a, like a business deal. So it's not necessarily to do with love, but somebody betrayed you or you betrayed someone else and you're feeling really guilty about it and ashamed of yourself and you really feel bad about the consequences that happen because of your actions and I feel like the full moon is really bringing that up for you to face right now 
But here's what's interesting because around this card is a very strong moon energy, psychic energy, spiritual energy, the force like you hear in Star Wars. That, that's that energy that's coming down to you. and It's all around you for the next 10 days. So if you are feeling guilty, you can tap into that energy and really do ask for forgiveness and ask, how can I clear this up? But there's a lot of love. So whoever betrayed you, whoever you betrayed, it's someone you love. Not necessarily in a love relationship, but for some of you it is a partnership. But for others, it's family members. It's people that you really love. So this is why it's hurting you to such a degree. So Capricorn, this is what you're going to be dealing with over the next 10 days. But... I feel the pain is very intense today, and it probably has a lot to do with the full moon, but at the same time, there's this intense love. Um, so for the next 10 days, you can tap, tap into your, your wisdom, your guidance. There's definitely a golden moment in this. There's definitely the golden cup is being handed to you, and things like this happen during the full moon, or energies like this come up during the full moon to help you. So it's telling me that you can really tap in to something, the divine force to figure out because something needs to be healed. Something needs to be dealt with. Okay. And it came even before this came here, you know, so it's you, you should spend your next 10 days or even right now when you see this video okay what are my instructions in regards to this dirty deed that I did or was done to me um, but the reading will help you with that as well as we go on so here we see that some of the betrayal it's left you you got the nine of pentacles so here you are you got tons of money you got tons of luxury here but you're kind of alone. So this heartbreak, even though by people looking at you, you look like you got everything that you need and you should be so happy, but this card always has that hint of restriction or that hint of something is missing because the person is alone. They're kind of in a gated area. So there is definitely a restriction in your life. So although... There's tons of money and there's tons of luxury around you. This <coughs> has put a little bit of a damper <coughs> in maybe your Easter celebrations or... <coughs> I'm sorry. I cough a lot during my videos because I always... My throat because I have allergies and that's why I don't like candles or incense. People have asked me about that. I can't handle any kind of scent. So next to that is the Queen of Pentacles. And that's in your recent past. So I feel like this betrayal had something to do with money. It was connected to people's finances. So like in the case where the sister hurt the other sister that I mentioned there a minute ago. I feel like the betrayal came as a result of a business dealing or it's definitely something financially connected can be a family member is feeling a little jealous over your abundance either way it's connected with money so family and money do not go together but it's not oh just a family this is it's someone you loved, okay? So I see coming up for you, and I'm going to say this is around the next four days, that somehow you just kind of forget about things and charge forward. So this extreme heartbreak that you're seeing here kind of it, it, is what the reading is talking about and it seems like to me that you kind of 
forget about it for a while. You kind of put it on the back burner. I'm not going to deal with this right now is the, the feeling I get is that you just kind of, okay, I'm going on my own. Screw it. Screw them. Uh, I'm on my own. I'm going to charge forward in life. And that's a very, very powerful card. But then right after that really powerful card is the magician. So I would say for the next 10 days that whatever this heartbreak is, you just kind of like, first you just kind of turn away from it and you charge forward in your life. But here I think you're kind of, in your life right now, besides the heartbreak, is there's a lot of good things happening for you. There's a lot of prosperity. There's a lot of great things happening for you. So that kind of takes your mind off it. But at the same time, I think that has a lot to do with why the other person is behaving like this, okay? With the musician, ma magician here, I feel like you decide that... You are going to sit down for a little bit and do some work on this. Uh, this, and not healing work, some magic, you know. Tell me what this card is all about. Give me more clarity. It's the Queen of Swords. So I feel like you're taking a stance to protect yourself with this card, but the the primary card is the magician, so maybe you're doing a magic spell, or you got you're making some plan. So it's not necessarily that it's magic in the traditional sense, even though for some of you it is. It's not necessarily for some of you will be doing spells. For other people, they're just they're figuring out a way that's the best way to deal with this. Because the sword, the queen of swords is with it. So this person is really taking a stance that, okay, this crappy thing happened, but I'm going to go on with my life. But I also am going to put some really good energy around what just happened. And I'm going to be mature about it. But even though you're being mature about it, I also feel like in some kind of way you've turned your back. Like you just say, okay, I'm going to go on with life. But the next card is the Fool, and I feel like you wish that a new beginning could start with this person, that, okay, we're just going to forget about it, but it's in your hopes and fears, so I feel like you're hoping that this nastiness can just pass, this betrayal that you either dished out or you experienced, it's just going to heal and begin you're you're going to begin anew in your life um and then we got the three of cups so cups plays out really strongly in your reading cup 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 so right now you're in the midst of a golden opportunity so even though you're going through just recently because you're not going through it now i would say this right now the energy is there, but you quickly move on from it because there's so much exciting things going on. And once again, I'm going to say I feel like someone, this came because somebody got left in the dust or they're not, somebody you love is not so happy for you. Um, and you, you, you're in celebration here. So I feel like whatever efforts that, you're making to get over this and make amends i feel like you achieve that to some degree and you're out celebrating i think your golden cups have increased so it's a pretty dynamic reading capricorn for you over the next week you, you really got a lot going on like this is a person who's really action they're really busy they're really Focus on moving forward in a way that's good for them. Um, so here I see you celebrating and I feel like you're with others because look at all the groups. So maybe it's a family get together over the long Easter weekend, but I feel like you're. it's more than that. 
it's that, but it's also you're celebrating some big success, but unfortunately, someone is not so happy for you. Now, this is also now we got two aces in this reading. So not only do you have the, the blessing of the divine universe showering you down with the golden opportunities, now you have this magic wand. So this showed up in the Scorpio reading too, that we got the magician and then we got the two aces with it. So this full moon for you, Capricorn, and in my Scorpio reading also, this full moon and it's... Also, the spring energy and the energy of Easter is all about renewal and starting afresh and just being abundant. And I just feel like, wow, that's what's happening for you, Capricorn, that you're in the midst of all this great stuff happening for you. For some, it's a new job. It's a new opportunity. For others, you manifested that magic that you were asking for. Whatever you were asking for, you are manifesting this week in a big way. So it's not in the future. It seems like you ask for something and almost instantaneous it comes. But even before you ask for something, something else already came that was so valuable. So, I mean, I definitely see over the next 10 days, Capricorn, that you just some amazing stuff here so it's interesting that this situation happened but you're moving on from it real quickly it's not affecting any areas of your life um so a golden opportunity two golden opportunities this week if not more and they're two different areas like your intuition is being right on Everybody gives you what you ask for. You are loved. You're, you're, you're just bam. Everything is bam right on for you. And then this is more we're moving into career. And your energy level is so high. And you manifesting exactly what you ask for. And you're all very excited here. But then your final card. So isn't that interesting that... In the midst of all this excitement, Capricorn, there's this pain. But Capricorn tends to be very focused. They bury themselves in their work often when this kind of stuff comes up. So this is what I see you doing. You're really moving forward. And then the outcome of all this is very interesting because... You're right back where you started. So you wanted to ignore it or you wanted to just move on. But again, I see that pain there. But you've moved on somewhat because you went from this to this. And this is a secondary card. So it's not as extreme. This to me is just when you just found out about it, you're in the deepest part of the pain of finding out you were betrayed or you betrayed someone to a more okay the issue comes up again but now you're able to move on to some healing because here the person definitely knows they've been betrayed they're completely dead so where can you go from there all you can go on from there is a new life it's done. It's finished. So there's some more fighting to do with this betrayal. So if you were hoping to escape it, Capricorn, by the 30th, it's back in your face again. And you're dealing with it again. But I do feel you've moved on to the next phase. So in, in the midst of all this big, exciting stuff that's happening for you this week... Golden opportunities galore, new starts because you got one, an ace, a one, an ace, a fool. You're like just total new beginnings here and really amazing energy when you got the Capricorn, the chariot, and the magician in a Capricorn's reading because they really resonate with this card. Oh, so this is very interesting. Because I asked the most important message that you needed to hear at this time. 
and you got a very clear message crystal clear intentions be clear about what you desire and focus upon it with unwavering faith so you are with these you know these two cards she's you are totally focused on your goals but i also feel what i'm hearing is along with crystal clear intentions is crystal clear communication with this situation that's going on so this is separate from all this situation here it's entwined in the fact that I feel there's a lot of jealousy coming at you from another person. I feel there was betrayal that came from another person. So the next 10 days and right now with this full moon energy, because this full moon energy, when you set an attention on the full moon, boom, that gives it some big strength. Okay, so. It doesn't surprise me that you're getting this at all. And this is what your whole week is going to be about. So not dealing so great with emotional stuff, but charging forward in career and with what you intend to happen. Okay, so Capricorn, the next video is going to be for you from May 1st to the 15th so we're going to see what the continuation of this is okay so that'll be the video i put up right after this one okay so thank you so much for watching everybody have a great easter and be safe peace